An agreement reads to try to avoid running dry. Three western states, including Arizona, announced a plan to significantly reduce their water use from the Colorado River. Yeah, this is a breakthrough deal. Uh, meteorologist Jorge Torres is going in-depth on this new proposal and what it could really mean for Arizona's water future. And the success we had coming to this agreement is also another positive step. After months of disputes and discussions, California, Nevada, and Arizona agreeing to conserve 3 million acre feet of water in Lake Mead for the next three years, with half of that amount staying in the lake by the end of 2024. This is in addition to the mandatory water reductions that the Western states already consented to in previous agreements. This is a three year deal through 2026, and it is designed that uh, it will be enforceable and there will be water on the table uh, even when it is dry. In exchange for using less water, most cities, irrigation districts, and Native American tribes in the lower basin states will receive at least $1 billion combined in federal funding, according to the New York Times. Officials say the wet winter in the southwest was one of the things that led to a breakthrough in negotiations, along with constant conversations between water managers and uh, even governors Katie Hobbs of Arizona and himself. Gavin Newsom of uh, California. Her outreach and, and those conversations with Governor Newsom, I think, have been very productive, making progress to our shared destination of a stable Colorado River. It's still not clear how much water Arizona will conserve. The Department of Interior will analyze the proposal and reissue an updated alternative later this year. This proposal, however, would be a short-term fix leading up to another round of tough negotiations once this deal runs out in 2026. We know we are going to have to learn to live with a smaller river. I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.